Hi, I'm Jeffrey Denny with Guns.com. Today I'm going to speak with you about stealth entries and door work. Upon approach, you want to watch for any threat. You also want to check the door. Make sure there's no booby traps, improvised explosive devices, or any other threats. Up high, down low, in a basement window, windows, anywhere else to secure this door upon approach prior to entry. Once you get up on the door, you want to stand in a position off to the door. You don't want to stand right here. This offers a little bit better protection, at least the, the frame offers best protection here. And it also can get you out of the way of this area that could be a potential threat. Ideally, you want to stand on this side, on the door knob side, to open that door, either with a key because it's stealth entry, or with no key if it's unlocked, or with a lock pick. If you stand on the other side of the door, it would require you to reach across, thereby exposing your body. If you're on a military operation or SWAT operation, that could expose yourself to the weak side of your body armor. But it also exposes me more across this area of the door. So I'm here and I want to stealthily open this door. I always want to have a weapon. I want to make sure my fingers straighten off the trigger. I want to make sure that my muzzle is not going to injure or be pointed at anyone that I am not willing to kill or destroy, including myself and my arm. So I want to point that weapon up high, away from my hand, and manipulate that doorknob. Another option is to keep the weapon low and manipulate the doorknob. But here I'm not ready. If someone were to open the door right now, I'd have to come up. So here is really ready in this close uh, or compression ready or almost a weapon retention position. On the doorknob itself, I want to put my hand over the top and twist and open. It's going to be more difficult if I go underneath, open it, and push from this way because I'm going to push that door open. Whether I have to go dynamic, which could occur at any time, depending upon compromise, or I just need to open that door, swing that thing open. Here, turn that knob and push open. If I'm doing a stealth entry, I could push that open and hold. I don't have to enter. And then I could pie the whole room, clearing this area. And that area. And then I could do an entry. I want to make sure that I get out of the fatal funnel. This area is known as the fatal funnel because Anywhere, any position someone is in the inside, if they're expecting me to come through that doorway, that's where they're going to aim their weapon. So upon entry, I want to get in and get out of the doorway or the fatal funnel. Since someone in the area could see if a door is open, you want to get it open fairly quickly. Upon manipulating this doorknob, I'm going to be on the outside like this, I'm pushing it in. I can immediately get my hand push, immediately get my hand back on my weapon so I have a good two hand secure hold. If I decide to crisscross, or that is go across the, the doorway, then I can push, get my hand back on my weapon, and use my body or my shoulder to continue to push and open up that doorway. I'm Jeffrey Denning with Guns.com and until next time continue to hone your skills and keep adding to your tactical toolbox.